coming in for a video. We are live today with a wonderful haul of jewelry that I encountered in the counters yesterday as I thrifted to about three different places. And I want to welcome you to the channel where we do a lot of talk about jewelry here. We do a lot of jewelry hunting and we do a lot of reselling too. So um, I'm glad you're here. I hope you love looking at jewelry and I hope you love treasure hunting as much as I do because that's mostly what we do here is talk about thrifting and things that we find at the thrift stores and things that we can resell for a profit. I will have a reseller haul recorded for you for possibly tomorrow morning. So please stay, stay tuned for that. If you enjoy reselling because you find so many beautiful bargains that sometimes you just have to move some to new homes. Well, that's what I do. So I'm really, really excited to show you these. I found these at very wonderful prices. Uh, they no longer do jewelry jars at this particular place that often. I have found them there many times and a couple, I think I picked up about two or three last uh, month or so and they were very reasonable, but now they're doing a lot of this and that is individual things. There's sometimes one or two things are in here, like two earrings or something. And then I found this bag full of bangles and I've been really into the bangles. Uh, I've been really watching a lot and studying a lot of um, videos and podcasts on the early 70s kind of artsy movement with uh, sculptures and, you know, the Andy Warhol crowd and all of that. And really falling in love with what they call art to wear jewelry or studio jewelry. So I'm really, really into it. I hope you enjoy this. I am going to start by showing you the, my latest finds from some auctions. I won't name them. Um because it's not because I prefer one auction over the other or because I'm disappointed with any auctions that I frequent. It's just some special ones that I want to sh showcase today. And I always start by showing you my rings because people have asked me to do so. I hope the lighting is good today. We are working really hard on trying to get that lighting better for us and we will get up close in just a minute. All right, so I'm wearing a cage pearl. I adore these big bold rings of the 80s that um, gold glam as they call it from the excess of the 80s time and I actually have another little cage pearl like this that I had bought for my niece my late niece and it's a lot smaller but it reminded me very much of this one and this one also has a little diamond on there so I hunted this one down online and found one this beautiful little band actually turned out to be gold and it came out of my jar not too long ago and all of those are little diamonds so I love that. This is my Cartier 3 um, tri-colored um, gold. And that's another thing of the 80s was the tri-colored gold. Lots of that. I don't know if this particular one, I think this one's been out longer than that, this style. And then, of course, I got my, what they called in the 70s was, they called these swinger rings. Now they're called motion rings and spinner rings. But the original ones were called spinner rings. And I adore this one. It is an 18 karat gold. It does have, um, I'll come up a little closer on it. It does have emeralds and diamonds and it moves when you move. So I love, love, love it so much. I was telling my husband that when I was employed, I think I was about, I don't know, 16, was I six, was I still in high school? I'm trying to think. It was one of my first jobs, but I used to sell men's shoes and the shoe to store, I think it was Florsheim Shoes, was right next to a Gordon's or a Zales. And I would go and frequent that store just to visit the jewelry that I adored. I had bought a few things there, not as much as I wanted to. And these rings were the rage in early 70s. And I remember wanting one so, so badly. And of course I didn't buy one because I was buying other things too. <laughs> you know, you can only afford so much on your commission check. So I did finally get me one. You did, Miss Vanessa. How are you? You work for Gordon's. Oh, my gosh. I can't even imagine working at a jewelry store. I would have never brought a paycheck home. As it was, I didn't. But <laughs> it was, I would have probably been in debt. But that was, yeah. I, that's, and I remember seeing it in Ruby's. And, and I know you said in my post over on Facebook, Miss Vanessa, that you had it in an opal. I can't imagine how pretty that it was. But, oh, my goodness, I got me one now, and I adore it. It is so much fun. It actually runs on some kind of bearing spiral there, and it is so, so cool. I love it. And I love the cage pearl, too. So, and I'm still looking for other things like domes and shrimps. And I do have a silver, beautiful 
silver shrimp that's signed. And I got that one at Sweeney's. Do you guys remember Sweeney's? All right, so let me show you some things I got at the auction. And uh, offline, I got this gorgeous brooch. This is so Chanel 80s, Byzantine. I just adored it. It's not Chanel, but tell me if it doesn't look like it. I think it's amazing. Look at that. Those are deep purple cabochons. Big fat pearl there. I got this on Etsy. Love, love, love it. I can't wait to put it on a black velvet blazer or on my uh, kind of the, um, what is that, black watch plaid. I love putting things like that or a tweed. Yeah, I'm going to have to go on the hunt for a tweed jacket. I had one. I don't know why I gave it away. I re it. I do that a lot, though. I prune my closet out, and then I'm thinking, oh, I haven't worn it in a couple of days. And I, now I want it. All right, then I found, oh, let me go with straight auction first. Then I found this beautiful, beautiful Mystic Topaz. And that one's just amazing. I love the color. It's a perfect fit. I got that one too. And then I had to grab this one because this is actually Premier Designs. And remember how we've had that argument back and forth, Premier doesn't make... Uh, stainless people say and uh, I actually found one so I'm super excited about it this is actually a premier designs in sterling silver and there is the mark there and it is marked and tested sterling as well so now we know and there it is and there's the sterling mark hi miss Lois and this is beautiful denim lapis with a sleeping beauty colored turquoise this one has a little bit of matrix but tell me that's not beautiful oh my gosh i just love it and it was a little it went a little bit higher than i really wanted to pay but i had to grab the um you know the proof <laughs> the evidence the receipts as they say nowadays because yeah that argument has gone back and forth yes they do no they don't and i know i had seen sterling in their catalogs and look at that beautiful denim lapis I love it. So now we know, definitely, definitely, Premier Designs makes sterling jewelry. Here's another beauty I picked up on on online purchase. This is Labyrinth and uh, Moonstone. And what I love about this one is that it not only is it, you know, I, I was pretty much looking for bypass rings because I love to wear my by bypass rings on my arthritic fingers, they really help me. And um, this one's a coil. This one actually goes around three, well, two times. Isn't that amazing? And it's not soldered in the, you can actually stretch it. I thought this one was so unique as well. And I don't even believe there is a mark on it at all. It's some kind of artisan piece. It has been tested. It is so pretty. I adore this one. So it's Labradorite, Labradorite, Moonstone. I think the, the little... Uh, teardrop shapes are the labs, labradorites, and then the other little round cabochons are the moonstone. That is so, so pretty. I love that. And then I picked up this cheroite, and this is a gorgeous Pollock, Carolyn Pollock. Love that. This is also an online purchase. Just wanted to show you that. I really love Carolyn Pollock. Look at that beautiful setting. I mean, that's just amazing. It almost reminds me of a, what do you call it? Like an, a sea creature of sorts. Hi, Perla. Let me say hello to a couple of people. Hey, Doug, how are you? Uh, let me see. Oh, don't we love the cage pearls. We were just talking about how I'm on the hunt for those. And I, and I did purchase a beautiful dome ring. It's on its way. Uh, what else? And um, what else am I looking for? As far as the 80s. The shrimps, the shrimps, and um, and the little midway rings, like the way the way I wear these, because they're you know they're kind of flat. So I really want just gold bands, though. I love them, and this one did come out of a jewelry jar too. But this one has some. I don't even know if I forgot if these are crystals or diamonds. But this one what did test diamonds, and it came out of the jar not too long ago. Um, so that's what another thing I'm looking for. All right, Le I think that was, oh no, look at this. Again, I didn't mention any of the places that I got them from. I just wanted to highlight the beautiful pieces. Have you ever seen such a lovely specimen of amber? This is an am rough amber. 
And wow, I don't even know what to call this one. This one has like a little conglomeration of everything in it. It almost looks like it has specks of uh, goldstone or something, but it's not. It's just so pretty. And I love the setting on it. Look at that huge, thick bale. So this was a fabulous buy as well, and this was on a YouTube auction. I love the chain, too. It's a box chain, but it is super heavy. It is not flimsy, so that was a fabulous buy. Love that, too. Then I found this yesterday, and I did pay up from what I knew, but this is just marked sterling, and it's spelled out sterling for this setting, and it's small. It's going to be a pinky ring. <laughs> But remember, I told you I love having, uh, I love buying the stones, not only just, you know, because I love the way they look, but I love to study them. And I looked at this in a loop and you can see the, the little, what I call kiwi, kind of like kiwi seeds. You know how a kiwi has those little black seeds? That's what it reminds me of. All right, now let's get started with what's in my bags. Wait, 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 another couple of things. <laughs> All right, this one, this one is missing the, um, the bale, but I'm going to have one put on there. And this one was reduced from 15 to 12. But look at that gorgeous spiderweb turquoise on. This actually looks like Bisbee to me, and I don't know very much. And, you know, I hesitate naming mines and all that. But um, from little that I know about the Bisbee mine, I know it has a lot of brown. And this has a rich chocolatey color. So super nice. I love that. And that's... That's a beautiful little jade bead in there. All right, so that was the thrift store, one thrift store. That was um, family thrift, I think. And then uh, these, I could not resist these. These are going to go up on eBay. These are so collectible. They're enameled. This one has actually a brooch, or it says tie bar, but it looks like a brooch. And these are cufflinks. Created, create creation house this reminds me of something you would pick up you know at the tourist spots like the sandborns or something these are in excellent condition and i just couldn't resist them i love keys like this i um i've talked about um, how some people might find things you know stereotypes and whatnot but um this is um something that i think um everyone can appreciate and uh, I just love it. I love the enamel. All right. Now, I also got these for three. These are genuine copper. And again, something probably not PC right now, but vintage made in the USA. Indian Den, it says. Sunburst. These are coral. Those are actually faceted turquoise in there. I love the dangle. Um, what do you call it? Hoops. They're actually, actually articulated as well. These were in awesome condition. I can't even believe they're still so shiny and pretty. All right, so that was what we got. Now we're going to open. We'll start with the little bags. This one was $4, $4.98, something like that. I'm going to try to get through these pretty quick. Hi, Tracy. Hey, Miss Kathleen. How are you? Pearl, I'm glad you're here. Thanks, guys, so much for being here. Maricela. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. I love the cage pearls, too. I love the Baroque pearl, and this was actually a really nice diamond. It's a really beautiful color, and the pearl is nice quality, too. The Orient, or what they call the Orient, which is the colors that, that kind of illuminate from it, are amazing. This is a really nice one. Very well taken care of. The lady was super nice and took my offer and... Um, told me it was her mother's, it was funky. <laughs> that was kind of her description. Funky in 70s and um, love it. Oh, this is so pretty, guys. I don't know what, this is some kind of beautiful bangle. I don't know how we can slip it on. It will fit me. It's got cloisonne beads. It's got all glass beads. And they have like an AB coating. Some of them are red. And some of them are orangey, kind of fire, Mexican fire opal or something. Color only is what I'm speaking of. I'm not claiming they are. 
And look at those little tiny cloisonne. That is such a gorgeous little cha-cha. I think they call these cha-cha pieces, right? Super heavy. Could not resist this one. This one was all by itself for $5. Look, they even put little yellow caps on these. And some of these are square. I love this one. Hi, Wings of Love Treasures. Thanks for joining me. Be sure and hit the thumbs up, guys. I really do appreciate when you do that as you come in or out. If you have to leave, it helps grow the channel. More people come around and check it out. And we have a lot more fun. The more the merrier. All right, here's another one. This one had a bear on it. It looked like crystal, so I picked that one up for $3. It's so funny at that thrift store. They have interesting things. My daughter loves the clothes there. She said, why didn't you tell me you were going? And uh, the jewelry is always interesting. Look how pretty, guys. This has got to be, look at that. It's quartz. It's a clear quartz. It's cold as ice. Beautiful carved bear. These actually look like sterling, and I was using my loop through the through the plastic. That is so hard to look to see, guys. And so I looked at the bear, and I think this might be 925, but I don't remember. A few of them were. But isn't that cute? That's long, too. That's as long as a rosary. Look at that. Let me see what it says on this thing here. This is the first time I see them up close. Okay, I do not see anything on the finding. The beads are gorgeous, though, even if they're not actually sterling. And that bear is precious. So cute. And he's got, uh, yeah, a little wire through there. Oh, man, I love that. That is really pretty. Yeah, so they're, they're taking to doing a lot of that bag everything separate a couple of maybe earrings or sometimes i'll put two or three bangles in there but i've had really good luck i do too i do too i know you do too as well you do as well miss vanessa it's so pretty especially when it's mixed with rose look at this i thought this looked like the real deal and i couldn't see anything on it but isn't it a beautiful gold? See, this is, I'm going for the gold glam of the 80s, and I am just in love with this. Look at that beautiful, what would you call this, a basket? Or, a, oh my gosh, and it fit, fits like a glove. I love that. Not anywhere on it either. I'm praying it's gold. <laughs> Or no, you never know. It won't be the first time I find gold on a rack at the Goodwill. And we all know those beautiful stories, don't we? Let's share some. Have you, when was the last time you found some gold? <laughs> some, especially the white gold seems to escape people. But this is yellow. I don't know. I don't know how um, school they are at that particular one. Or maybe it's for me. Is it sticking? It's not sticking to my very powerful magnet. But I don't see a mark, so we shall see when we test it. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm glad to hear it, Miss Carrie. This is very interesting. I do not see a mark. It's probably just a really well-made costume piece, but you can bet I'm going to test it because um, I found gold that's not marked either. But either way, even if it's just a Monet, it's beautiful. I love it. There's even texture on this basket or whatever it's called. A little basket weave. I love that. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Oh, I got this one because this kind of looked like um, sterling. There's two bracelets in this one, and this one was $3. So basically $1.50 a piece. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, take the time to do it today. If you'll look over on the right, there's a little, little rectangular thing that says subscribe. It's always a free subscription. And that way, if you go ahead and hit the bell while you're there, you'll never miss another video. Now, this is just faux um, abalone. And on it's so cute, though. 
And on Silver Tone, but it's a blue moon with a star that was in there. I thought my daughter would like that. She doesn't care if it's precious metal or not. She just loves anything celestial theme. This is so pretty. This, These are the beads that I thought might be silver, but these are crystals, and they're gorgeous. Look at that huge toggle. That is nice. But I don't see any mark on it. Let me look up close, though. It was hard to see it through the plastic. And I just happened to have my loop with me. I don't always have it with me, but I had it in my pocket, so I was able to see some things, like some turquoise that look like turquoise. I don't know. I don't see anything. It's got a nice patina on it, though. So it made, made me think it might be. All right, so that's nice. And then more bracelets. How is the stream? I don't see any activity, and I asked you guys a question. When was the last time y'all found some gold? Whether it was at the Goodwill or a garage sale or something. Always get weird when I take out the loop. I Really? I don't even worry about it anymore. Look at this. This is, I knew this. these were genuine stones. So I definitely grabbed this one. And what did I pay for this one? $3. Three dollars as well, and it has amber, and I could tell that was amber. Let me see. No, no, that's carnelian. Carnelian and probably um, adventuring. The turquoise, I'm a little iffy about, but that's definitely amethyst. And look how the, they even have a different color of amethyst. And that could be peridot, actually. That's a beautiful coil. It really is. I don't know. That could be turquoise. You know that very faded turquoise that looks like your 80s mom jeans? That's actually a low-grade turquoise. And it's very, very, um, what do you call it? Very um, affordable. That's beautiful, though, isn't it? I like that one. You, Ruth says, never managed to catch it. Well, I'm so glad you're here, all the way from England. I'm still, I'm just really, really excited you're here. Thank you. Here's one. Look, does that not look like jade to you in there? Well, it was only three dollars for three bracelets. You're darn tootin'. I grabbed it. I'm like, oh my gosh! And wait till you guys see the purses I got. I'm gonna show those at the reseller hall that I'm gonna do probably after my auction today, I'm not, since I'll be dressed up. I'm gonna try to go to the other room because there's no room in here. And my coworker, oh my gosh, posted the brand new with tags cashmere sweaters he gave me. Well, I'm not gonna tell you everything else he gave me yesterday, but it I had to open the trunk. <laughs> and lots of things were new with tags. I'm so excited, he's so sweet. He's just like, well, I'd rather give it to you than, than give it to my nephews because I don't even know if they like this. And I know you'll resell it. Look how pretty. These are darling, too. Little rhinestones and then just another little. I think this is just acrylic. So I am super excited about listing those. Okay, here is a really nice specimen, guys. This is jade of all colors. This one's made nicely. I have bought some of these, and I don't know if they were mass-produced or what, but they came apart with one or two wearings. This one looks nicely made, and it might even be, I don't know if that's black onyx or what. It's got two secure little latches here. Well, is one missing from over there? Looks like one may have fallen off over there. Okay, let me try to open this. See there? Okay, there it goes. That is really nice. And then it's got the little links in between. No true, true um, green color. It's got the light jade color. That is super pretty. My daughter will probably take that one. She loves Jade. All right, so that's that. 
That one was nice. Whoa, it fell in my bag. All right, here's some earrings. These were three dollars. Hi, Rita and Emily. Thank you guys for being here. Is the stream looking okay or is it buffering? I love these big ones. I really do, and I always like black too. So, ooh, I didn't know they were that long. Those are pretty. They're very lightweight. So I thought these were nice. Good, good. These right here, I just love this orangey. I mean, they're huge, I know, but I think they're so nice. And they're acrylic, so they're not heavy at all. And they're in an antique gold color. They have an AB coating over them. Those are just beautiful. They're about probably three inches, two and a half, I would say. So that was not a bad deal. And then this one, I saw turquoise. And this does not look like fake turquoise to me. My first indications when I saw these um, was the style. This is totally 70s. It was the barrel clasp. And then as you look at this... You can see the pyrite or whatever it is. That, um, I don't want to get anything wrong. There's people out there quick, quick, quick to correct everything. But you can see the matrix has the elements that are so telltale and rich. And they just don't look, you know, painted on or contrived like the, I don't want to say contrived, but like when they use Howlite, Howlite has a special matrix and it, it always looks the same. And I love Howlite Undyed. It's be beautiful in its own right. But when they use the Howlite, it really has a very obvious, just kind of a kind of a very thin pinstriping around it. And this one, you could see the chunkiness of it. And indeed, my instincts were correct. This is some kind of white he -she. Oh my gosh, how much did I pay for this? This is so cool. $3.00. Three and the white, oh, I love this. I think this kind of looks, I love the other ones too, the, what do you call it? The brown he, she, but they tend to look a little masculine. This one really looks feminine. Look at that. That is so nice. So I sure was glad I got my loop because see, you can look at this one. It's even got a little blister of pyrite in there. Or whatever. That, gosh, that's awesome. And the deepest blue I've ever seen. Look at that. That's going to have to go in my collection. <laughs> I'm trying to keep just really spectacular pieces, you know? Especially with turquoise, because you can get into the habit of just buying. Oh, it's turquoise, it's turquoise. So you get it, right? This has personality. This is from the 70s. This is awesome. This is really awesome. I love it. And the white, like I was saying, it really kind of looks feminine. Even look kind of, looks kind of beachy. More like a, I, I'm not sure what that shell is, but it's definitely a genuine shell over it. Or strung with it. And then look at this, guys. I was like, I love that. You know, I'm into watches. And I love having watches as basically an accessory. You know? So pulled out the loop because I thought this one was cool, but... You know, if it's a Geneva, it's okay. I love Geneva, too. They work most of the time. But sometimes some of them have not worked for me. And we, you know, we get so many in the jewelry jars. So I didn't really want to buy another one. But this one's a Joan Rivers. I couldn't believe my eyes. Joan Rivers. Collectibles, it says. So it's a little bangle. It's a faux tortoise. Hey, Gianna, how are you? It's a faux tortoise. Look how gorgeous. And then that color is like the color of um, what stone, guys? Kind of a um, morganite color, that face. Just a sweet orange color. Does it say Joan Rivers Collectible? It says Joan Rivers something. Let me see what the loop tells me. Joan Rivers Classics. That's what it says. Joan Rivers Classics. So I may or may not keep this because this can garner some good money over on eBay and all of that. 
I um I usually get about thirty dollars for her beaded chunky necklaces, and that's because I price them you know to move. I'm not I'm not gonna sit on it for two years, even though I wind up doing that sometimes, inadvertently on other things. But I'm not gonna price it skyrocket where everybody else is pricing it like that, and then you never sell it. So yeah, but that watch I'm not sure. I didn't check comps or anything, but isn't it cool? And I've never ran into a a watch. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up, guys. I appreciate it. Here's another one that looked like genuine turquoise. And uh, wasn't too sure. But I thought they were very nice anyway. This is crystals. I think that might be a sterling finding there. It looks like that um, Balinese style. And those are usually sterling, but I'll have to check it. What pretty crystals on there, though. Look, they're all kind of cubed, I guess. Blue, pink, yellow, two shades of blue, green. Love that one. This one, another one that I think is faux turquoise, but pretty nonetheless. And I think they did a little cute combo, actually, together with all that green. All right, and then this one. This was in there too. Now this turquoise looks a little bit more like genuine turquoise to me. See the the deep elements in there? The minerals in there? I hope you can see that. You can touch them. You can look inside them and see that they're not fake. Plus this one looked like gaspiite to me, these other beads. What do you guys think? That deep green stuff? I don't know. That's a nice one. It's a stretch, too. But I love the coil one, too. That one's cute. So we got that one in there, too. All right, now we're going to, I think, oh, no, there's another bag here. And then we'll do the bag of bangles and, and um, see what's in there. This one uh, was Premier Designs. I saw that, so I knew it was going to be nice. Just made sure that there wasn't any rhinestones missing. And I looked at each one. It's hard when you have, you know, I don't want to open everything. And many people do, and then they wind up not getting, not getting the item because many times they'll say you can't, oh, you can't buy it because you open the bag. Oh, this is cute. Look at those pretty AB crystals in there or rhinestones, and they're on both sides. That is very cute. And again, that's a Premier Design. And yeah, all the rhinestones are there. They're so pretty. And that's an antiqued gold. Very easily can go around your neck two times there. I like that a lot. Hi, Jen Bennett. How are you? That is so beautiful. Oh, I love that. That is very nice. Okay. Again, I was telling you, I, um, I was intrigued this week with uh, all of the art to wear movements of the 70s i've been watching a lot of videos on that and loving those huge beautiful sculptural bangles so when i saw this and i actually went over to look at these louboutins that they had there at the thrift store and guess how much they had those louboutins for they had them for 500 dollars. that's pretty much what they sell for when they're on clearance but they were fake they were so obviously fake. Oh, my gosh. I told the girl, but she couldn't care less. She's not pricing them. Okay, I paid 7 for the bag of bangles. She's not pricing them. So it's not, I mean, you know, I just wanted to let her go. <laughs> Maybe she'll tell her boss. This is awesome. Look at this. This is wood, big and green. You did? Awesome. No, you could tell these were fake. The box was fake. The bag looked like it was made in you know, where it was awful. This is really a beautiful bangle. I love this. It's wood. Look at that. <laughs> that is nice. And it's not too big. Sometimes these bangles are made so big. This is like a little denim here. That's acrylic. Ooh, 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 I love this. That is some kind of inlay and Antica collection. Well, I guess it sold for 16 at one time. 
This one is so, so cool. Lead compliant made in India. This is another beautiful one. I'm telling you, I'm loving the look of that big bangle. Of course, you'll take everything else off and wear a couple of big bangles. Statement bangles are my, my quest. Oh, this is pretty. This also looks like kind of Indian and folkloric, but that is so pretty in that purple. Wouldn't that be pretty with some silver jewelry? Oh, I love that. Look at that. It's really nice. And this looks like all foil work or something. Like just glitter on top of glitter. Nothing can really fall off of that. It's interesting. All right, let's see what else. Oh my gosh, this one's cute too. Oh, look, this kind of opens. This says love on it. This reminds me a little bit of a, like they're kind of a little take on a Louis Vuitton design. That is sweet. That's like a little periwinkle blue. And it does expand. Oh, it's so beautiful. Really nice. And then this one is um, some kind of base metal inside, inlay with wood. This is a big one, though. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. And this is great for someone who needs it because so many people struggle to get those bangles in. When I, I had a cinnabar like this that was large and it sold immediately because it was large. And it was no cinnabar, so people like that too. But you know, it's it's hard, just like we want them to fit sometimes just right for us. Some people can't even get them past their fingers. Oh, this one kind of matches it. Look at that. So that's cool. You can wear those together or separate. One in each hand love this. This is kind of a tiger print, white tiger print. That's amazing. You can't get it off? <laughs> well, that's what a lot of the, um, that's what a lot of the women do with their jade bangles. They buy them very small or their 22 karat ones and they put them on, they never come off. Once you get them past, you just leave them there. This is pretty. This is a, uh, what do you call it, brass. It's got like some little, I don't know what you'd call that, little studs or something. That's pretty. Uh, that's a lot of bangles for $7. Here's a blue one. Pretty color. It's like the color of lapis there. Oh, I love the white. This one needs a little cleaning. But very nice. I just, oh, this one's cracked. What a shame. What a shame. But it doesn't show. <laughs> it does not even show. Pretty. I just sold a couple of the white ones. They look so pretty. Here's another one like this one. Oh, that's a nice combo. Look at that. You got your bronze color and your gunmetal color. Might be too noisy together, but... Some people like the, the little sound that bangles make. And you can always wear one on each hand. So that's a nice combo, too. Another, this is actually like a faux leather. This is very 80s, together especially. But that's fun, too. I love the black and white. That is cute. Oh, gosh, this one's gorgeous. This is the uh, brass as well, beautiful green. This looks like the color of Mexican green onyx, doesn't it? I don't know if it comes through. My camera looks so different. I wind up seeing my videos uh, just to check the lighting and everything because I see everything so dark. And then I'm looking and it looks fine, but I don't know, you guys tell me. You always do anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. This is so cute. Wow, A, B, all over. <laughs> I love this. That is so cute. To just wear a little bangle and a white dress and no other bangles and wear that, that would be so cute. And maybe a long ring or something. <laughs> I love it. Oh, these are always fun. I've seen these where you can actually move them and slide them. This one's actually stiff. Look at that. Beautiful colors on that. That would look good with this combo. 
Yeah, I am really, really enjoying learning about the um, art to wear and all the beautiful pieces. Now they're doing so many beautiful things, including doing the acrylics and using, like instead of this inlay that they did here with, I don't know what, or maybe that's just painted, but they're actually taking like gold leafing, genuine gold, precious metal, and just putting it over acrylics and woods and just, you know, taking it up a notch which is what's so fun about jewelry anyway, right? We all know it's art, but uh, it's fun when they do things like that. I love it. Guys, that's the end of the um, the little jewelry haul. I hope you come back for my reseller haul. I'm going to try to get that recorded tonight because it's everything is in the living room, and I want you to see some beautiful pieces that I got. Thanks so much for being here. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you soon, and hopefully I will see many of you over at my auction tonight at 5 p.m. Central. If I'm running a little late because I had to give my daughter a ride today to work, I don't know if I'm going to have to pick her up at 5-ish, uh, but if not, I'll start at 5 or I will leave you a note that I may start at 6. But it's usually 5 p.m. Central. All the information is always in the description box. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.